All right, so I have a small demo scene. We have a shooting shake. I have a uh, explosion and a shake rumble falling platform thing. Okay, so our process is very simple. We go to our main camera with the virtual machine and we add extension impulse listener. We could leave this as is. You can mess with it later. We go to our player. In my case, it will be uh, Cinema Machine Impulse Source. Okay, this will be set as recoil and we'll zero out the velocity. You don't have to do this, of course. You can choose whatever you want. Uh, however, I'll be using my recast from my player weapon to give it a direction or velocity. So we'll just zero out this for now. And uh, we'll make a new script called uh, recoil shake or something. And we open that up. I will delete the boil plate. And we'll start from two serialized fields, okay? So we have Cinema Machine Impulse Source and Alt Enter to generate the namespace. And uh, we'll name this whatever. All right, so screen shake and a float for power mount. Now let's make our method to call this. Okay, so have we not put our zeros in the velocity earlier? We can just do generate impulse and this will generate whatever velocity was set on the component. However, as I mentioned, I will use my recast from my weapon to give it that direction just to give it some variant. So it'll be generate impulse with velocity and we'll need our vector three. So let's make our method pass a vector three. And we're pretty much done here. All we need to do is call our method and it will be in my player action. So here's my raycast, very simple, very easy. Okay, and all we do is add our script. So let's make a reference to recoil shake. As you can see, I already added a serialized field for recoil shake. So let me go to my shooting method and we'll just do recoil shake dot uh, screen shake, I called it. There we go. And we'll pass in our raycast dot direction. And that should be pretty much it. Okay, so now we save our change. Go back to Unity, compile. Okay, so back in Unity, all we do is plug our references. So we impulse source and let's give it a 0 0.3 amount. And let's go to our shooting script and we add our recoil shake. And that is pretty much all there is to it. We'll hit play and uh, verify it's working. And as you can see, it's a little drastic, but everything seems to be working. Um, you can do this to all, all the objects you want to generate impulses from. So I added the one for the barrel and I also added one for our falling platform here from when it breaks to when it hits the pavement there's two different signals um so yeah that pretty much wraps it up you can use it however you want you can add it to a uh, timeline you can uh, generate the signal and call the method like that uh, you can also uh, add it to any sort of event you got in the game so hope it was useful